Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be looking at the new Kyla Coin FPGA Bitstream. So, as you see here, Osprey Electronics, we have a Kyla Coin can now be mined by Osprey Electronics E300 miner. Warning, the E300 firmware will be automatically updated if you don't opt out. So these people with the miner will automatically update. It says the new release version will be released at 12 p.m. June 23rd, so today at Eastern Standard Time. Then they go over some notes here. Integrated the Kyla Coin Bitstream of the K1 Laboratory, enhanced customer experience, and then pool recommendations for Casper, Ironfish, and Kyla Coin. Surprisingly, Kyla Coin has come before Radiant, which we thought Radiant was going to come before Kyla Coin, just because it's a bigger coin. But obviously it's been pretty easy to update these FPGAs. Now the FPGA in question is the VU35P from the Osprey Electronics. Now this is only for the E300. They do have other options for these Osprey Electronics as you can see here. There's an E100 which is basically one hashboard in there instead of three with the E300. And then there's actually a new version of the E300 which is the VU33P. So different FPGAs, I believe that this update would only be for the VU35P. So it'll be coming onto the E300. I don't know about the E100 though. I'm assuming that they are the same hashboard. So you could update both miners. Now when we scroll down actually, we talk about this a lot on the channel, but normally Osprey Electronics show future support for other mining algorithms, Ergo and Radiant. So they didn't actually mention Kyla Coin. Now we do have some graphics here and the main one that I want to look at, this is just talking about Kyla coin. There's a video on my channel, how to mine it, if you want to go check that out. However, the main thing is the hash rates and the total wattage and efficiency for the E300. So I'm assuming because the E300 now has bit streams that are coming onto the network, we'll soon see them for other FPGA hash boards, just like the C1100 or the TH53. It could come out on Team Red Miner in a couple of days, who knows. So right here, we're just going to look at profitabilities firstly. So when we go over to Mining Calculator on hash rate NO, I've already got the top hash rate here and the total wattage input. And for the miner fee, I've put 10% because when we go back here, it does say by here the VU35P before dev fee. And I'm just assuming the Team Red Miner dev fee, which is 10%. So that's why I put 10% for the miner fee there. Now, when I click calculate, obviously it's showing $7.81 in revenue and the power cost is $2 and, and the power cost is $2.14. And then the overall profits is around $5 at $4.80. So this is going to go up and down depending on the price of Kyla coin. We will have a little look at that, but let's also look at more efficient hash rates and total wattages here. So as you go down, obviously the efficiency gets way better. So you're going to be making more of a profit ratio to revenue. Now with the 1440, so let's put that into the mining calculator here. So this is going to be 14 and 4. And then the watts, if we go back here, is 307 watts. So let's put in 307. And we're going to keep the miner fee and pool fee the same percent. I believe a lot of these pool fees, if we're looking at mining pool stats here, they're all 1%. Retromike.net is 0 0.5. Uh, if you didn't know, that is uh, one of these people in the space. I've seen him on Twitter a lot. He's doing a lot of virus coin mining, but obviously he has a pool here and that just jumped up a little bit there. So this pool is new, I believe, for Kyla coin. So if you guys want to support, you know, creators, then head over to Retromike.net and use that to mine Kyla coin with the E300. So now let's go back to the profitability here. So this is the most efficient that they have. So the revenue is looking at $5.20 and a profit of $3.89. So not that far off the $4.80, which you would be getting with the 21 giga hash. Now I also want to mention that it says here that you'll find 11 blocks solo every day. I believe the block reward is 0 0.005 Kyla coin, but this doesn't actually make sense because you'd be getting less blocks. If we go back to what we calculated, which was one, which is a 2160, so 216, the $4.70, we're looking at 17 blocks. So it is viable to solo mine on this. You'd probably be getting, I want to say 10 blocks. This isn't an accurate figure, I don't think right now just because of the network and the hash rate on the network and the difficulty that is going up. So when we look at the hash rate, we can see that it's starting to ramp up a little bit, probably because of the E300s 
and probably because of the price of Kyla coin, which we can look at here. But before I look at that, let's look at difficulty as well. You can see that's following hash rate nicely as well. So when we look at the price of Kyla coin, this is a month chart and we go on all time, we can see that it had this trading period here, which was not a lot of volume. So it was kind of in and out of like going all the way up and then all the way down. And then it kind of evens out to a lot of volume here. And then we've had a massive price spike, which could be the reason that these FPGAs are coming onto the network. I know that there was previous FPGAs for this coin, but they were private. So now they're actually open to the public. And this is an interesting coin. If you haven't seen any videos on it, it's only got a total supply of 21,000 coins, as you can see there. And 3,000 of it had already been mined and then they switched chains, I believe. So the total figure mined for this new chain is only 310 Kyla coin. So we've got a long way to go for Kyla coin. I think it just halves at the same rate as Bitcoin. So we've got a while until that next halving comes along. It's going to be, I don't know, in 2026, I think, for Kyla coin. So you've got a while to mine it. It's had price swings up and down for the past month or two. I remember I was trading it a little bit because it was going up and down and spiking. That was when there wasn't a lot of volume on the coin. So they had these wild price swings, which you could trade on. And then if you kept onto the coin, you could sell it up here for around $113. And there's a lot more liquidity right now as compared to this trade in here. Now, if you do want to sell this coin, there is Safe Trade and TXBit. I believe Zegex also allow it. I'll have to double check that and I'll leave it in the comments pinned if Zegex don't allow it anymore. So that would be the hash rate for the E300. Now, if you have an E100, which is just one board, we could look at that as well. So we just divide this by three, I believe. So 2160, 2160 is gonna look like 7,000, maybe something around that. And then the watts would be half of 900. So we're looking at 300 watts. Uh, we've got to put the minor fee to 10 again calculate so on the e100 which is just one fbj board we're getting we're getting two dollars 53 in revenue and then one dollar and 53 in profits so overall this is really good profits right now for any fpgas i think it would be the most profitable fpga out there because casper coin is slowly declining i think ironfish was profitable for a little bit but we all know when FPGAs come on, the difficulty is going to go up a little bit because of the hash rate going up as well. So you won't probably be making these profits. You'll probably be making, depending on how many FPGAs are on the network, 30% less, maybe 40% less. It really does depend how much the network difficulty and hash rate goes up. So the boards that are normally in these E300s or E100s are hard to get a hold of in terms of just buying them on your own. Like normal cards that you can get are like the C1100, the TH53, I'm trying to think of other ones, CVP13, these are the main ones which people will be mining on. Normally we see it in Team Red Miner, these kind of boards, but we don't really normally see the VU35P, or if we go back, they have the new version which is the VU33P, which I think correct me if I'm wrong, is the same as a forest kitten, but just modified. I believe forest kittens are just modified versions of these boards. If we go down, I don't know if it's going to say, but yeah, it does say here that the support for future mining algorithms are Ergo and Radiant. So we already have them for Ironfish. As it says there, if we go back here, we can see that they have Ironfish hash rates right here. So you can definitely mine Casper and Ironfish on both of these. However, we are waiting for Kyla coin obviously to update today and then hopefully we'll see Radiant coin come soon. I mean, as I said at the start of the video, I thought that Kyla coin was going to come before Radiant coin just because the market cap between them, if we look on the watch list, we have, we have Radiant there at 15 million and then Kyla coin is at 375,000, which is self-reported and the team at coin market cap hasn't verified it. A lot of these coins aren't verified market caps. I know on CoinGecko, they do have verified market caps for a lot of these coins that are smaller. And the placements like by cryptocurrency market cap aren't actually true because Casper coin should theoretically be at like 97 or something like that with a 500 million market cap. So still very low market cap for Kyla coin. 
I don't know how much trading is going on the network, but I've definitely seen a big spread between trades. So there's a lot of money to be made on this coin if you know how to trade it properly. And as we see there, it's up 121% in the last 30 days and in the last seven days, it's up 99%. So there's probably something around seven days ago that's really propelled it up the price. And then that's why we're seeing more profits on the coin. But it could also drop down to, if we click it, let's go on our month chart. What's the lowest here? $19. So it's basically looking like you could be making 10 times less profit on Kyla coin if it dropped down to this. But at the highs is at now, it's very profitable. Even on GPU, I believe it is profitable as well. If we go on to GPUs and we click on Kyla coin here, we can see that the profits on a 4090 is 25 cents. So there's some GPUs that are profitable. Not a lot as you keep going down, but the FPGAs will be pretty profitable compared to these GPUs, as we always say. So that's it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave your comments below what you think about these FPGAs and if you'll be mining Kyla coin or trading it in the future.